Let's talk Permian and Midland High, a 6A shootout from Ratliff Stadium. Now, Mojo beat Midland 24 games in a row from 1974 to 1998, but this matchup has evened out in recent years. Here come Mojo. Permian with the home field advantage, and Midland is not helping their cause. The second play of the game, it's Ryan Goodrum with the option right, but the pitch to Darius Reed hits the turf. It's a fumble, and the Panthers reel it in. Tommy Taylor scooping it up for the Mojo momentum. That brings out Heath Wood and the Panthers offense taking over. It's Wood flipping the option dish to Brandon Bailey. Bailey picks up the first down and then some. He's pushed out of bounds, but not before making it to the red zone. But the drive would stall soon after. Wood's going to be sacked by Jack Youngblood. This kid had himself a ball game. So Dakota Delau comes out and knocks in the chip shot field goal. Permian takes a 3-0 lead. Ball back to the Bulldogs. They have to limit the turnovers, and Goodrum starts off hot. A deep pass to Eric Haverstadt, and check out the grab. Haverstadt not letting go, and that's good for a dog's first down. But remember that thing called a turnover. Well, here's another. Goodrum bobbles the snap under center. Mojo's going to take over, but they would be forced to punt, so here's when things get interesting. A few minutes left to play in the first half. Midland High pinned at their own one-yard line. Goodrum with a quick drop and pass to Courtney McMarion. He reels it in, but he's way out of bounds. Incomplete pass, no harm done, right? Not so fast. There's a flag on the play. The ref calls defensive holding before the ball was thrown. It gives him a first down. Blake Felt cannot believe it. He's called with a bogus, unsportsmanlike penalty, and Permian is not happy. Check out the handoff to Darius Reed. You can't even see him because he's being tackled by about half the defense. They were all riled up. Israel Martinez leading the charge, but the Bulldogs kept course. The Dogs driving down the field less than a minute before half. It's Goodrum working the shovel pass to Reed, and this kid's going to find a way in for six. Midland owned a 7-3 lead at the half, but Mojo storms back to win. 15-14 your final. The Panthers are 6-2 as they get set for a rivalry showdown with Odessa High on Friday. Good.